Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how we can pull competitors of a company that we're reaching out to into our cold email copy and then say how we think we're better or that they're better than the competitors. And so we start with a list. Um, this is all just some data and we have you know the, the people that we want to search for and then we have the accounts over here. And so here's all of the accounts. What we want to do is we want to go find the competitor of these companies, pull the descriptions for both and then compare both of the descriptions to say, hey, I'm sure people pick you over the competitor because of X, Y, Z. And we're gonna leverage AI in order to do that. So this process does have multiple steps and I'm just gonna bring it over here. So the first thing that we did was we just cleaned up the URL that we were looking at just to make the Google search easier. And so now we're doing, gonna do a Google search for these competitors. And so the way that we get this done is we're gonna search for the website, the competitors, and then we're gonna say competitors and then country. And so if you ever do this uh, for yourself, you might put in like salesforce.com, uh, competitors, country, and then you're gonna keep moving. We tried to do this with company name and it was not as accurate as website. So I would definitely do it this way. And then we need three results. You could probably have five, but you don't really need five. We need three results because we want multiple insights. If we go to our search Google column, you'll see that we get results from G2. We get results from uh, their own website called Vervo Compare. And then we got results from Cap Capterra. So then what we did is we just took the snippets and we put it into one column so that we had all three of those snippets here. See how here we had data from Zoom Info, we have data from G2 and we have data from Crunchbase on competitors. And so we can open this up and see, you know, alternatives, possible competitors to maker sites may include Clara, right? So we get all of those things. Then we create this formula. Then we use AI to determine who uh, is the competitor. And so the prompt that I gave it is using the input, tell me who the competitor of the company we are looking up is. This is the company we're looking up. We are looking up this company, so this company cannot possibly be the competitor. Pull out from this text who the competitor is and only name one competitor. If the competitor is mentioned multiple times, name them. If no competitor is named multiple times, name the one competitor you are most sure of. Then this is the input. And then we feed in this data right here. And so then we get an output over here. We tried to search for, um, we tried to do a clear bit lookup, but that wasn't great to do a, a clear bit look up here. So instead we did this over here. Notice how it says the input does not provide a specific competitor to Vervo. The input does not provide any competitors to Droid. And then we still ran Google searches. Uh, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to fix this and I'm gonna say, we need this to be filled out, but we're also gonna say, um, we're gonna say response response is not empty and response does not contain input because anytime it messes up it's going to say input so we don't want it to do that so we'll hit that great so now this google search what this google search is essentially doing is we're searching for the company linkedin page so now we're searching site linkedin.com company and then we're using the response again the same google search you would use to find the uh the LinkedIn profile we're doing right here in line. So then we're gonna to try to find beeswax. So then we have the link over here and then we enrich it with the LinkedIn company enrichment. So then we can get their description. And now here's where all of the magic happens. So then what we do is we get our prompt here. And so we're saying, based on these company descriptions, tell me why I should choose the first one over the second one and complete my prefix with the main advantages. This is my prefix was doing some Googling and saw name, and so their competitor, comes up in alternatives a lot. I can see how customers opt for you because, and then we're gonna write in uh, why that is. So this is the first description, the company that we are reaching out to, and then this is the competitor, the company that we wanna say, hey, real company, you're better than them. So then we're gonna, then we give it three examples. So I filled these out and I actually gave it examples. And I said, you know, Test Gorilla often comes up against, I think it's Verdo or Vervo, um, I can see how customers opt for you because of your skills assessment and machine learning models, right? Uh, and then we could do was doing some Googling. I saw AppScale comes up in alternatives a lot. I could see how customers opt because of your cloud native integrations. And then we did another one. This is Parabola versus Seaflow. I can see how customers opt for you because of your drag and drop interface to build automations. 
And so then we can run that and you can see that we get some really, really great results. So we have reverse logics uh, against Lagua is the cloud fulfillment software leader, empowering high volume direct to consumer businesses to scale and impress customers with flawless delivery and experience. Great. Reverse logics is the end to end fully integrated management system uh, sp built specifically for these companies. So these are like large scale softwares for, you know, B2C companies. And so then we are reaching out to Lajua, I guess it would be. And we're saying was doing some Googling and saw reverse logic comes up in alternatives a lot. I can see how customers opt for you because of your seamless cloud fulfillment services. And then we put it in there. So nice personalized line. If I were to keep improving this, I would probably keep giving it examples of more precise things. And I'd probably change the prompt to say, you know, be specific about why people would choose them. Cause this is a little bit generic, but we can go in and we can change the prompt. But overall, this is the workflow I would use to get from step one to step two, to step three, step four, step five. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video.